The new commitment to ocean stewardship is perhaps most intimately witnessed in the small fishing community of Port Orford, Oregon. Port Orford has developed a communal vision, protecting their marine habitat that sustains their fisheries. Port Orford Stewardship Area, which is basically our traditional fishing grounds. 90% of the fishing we do takes place within that economic range. So that's what really kind of started me down this road. I wanted to have some voice in our future here instead of letting you know other people tell us what our future is going to be. We wanted to be part of it. As in the Florida Keys, the fishermen of Port Orford realized that conservation was the key for their economic future. Before, when they realize there's a problem, it's too late. Right. That's what always happens on all the fish. It, we, we, we'd like to address the problem and find out before and address it so we don't have the problem. The fishermen took bold precautionary action. They designated Oregon's first marine reserve, which prohibits any extractive activities, including fishing. It's hard to lose that much of my personal income here. But I know it is the right thing, and I know down the road it's going to pay in dividends. So. Here the fishermen have initiated more than a dozen local science projects mapping the marine habitat here, analyzing the movements of rockfish, and undertaking the region's first survey for seaweeds. We've gotten more scientific study in the last four years than we've gotten all my lifetime down here. We and we're going to get a lot more. That's the marine reserve. So right now we're sitting at the northwest corner of the reserve. So if you drew a line straight from here... This is a community-based effort. And I'm not aware of any successful effort that really meets the, the triple bottom line that advances the economy and, and preserves community values and a way of life and, and our natural environment that doesn't start at the community level with local buy-in. So I think what you've done here is truly, truly remarkable and is worth celebrating and it's worth sharing across uh, our state and across the nation. We see clearly that jobs can go with conservation, that we can continue to fish, Let's extract fish from the ocean and do it right and have a conservation ethic around how we fish and still have our jobs and, and have our income for our families. Now is your opportunity to get involved. Sides. used to be good for beach scene, but there's nothing at all. So now they move a little bit in the west. There, there, they're moving there now. And sometimes there, but there's nothing anymore here. People only live on fishing. They don't farm, they don't plant, they don't do anything else apart from fishing. And it's very difficult for them to move to something else if we talk about another alternative of livelihood. It sounds a bit weird yeah. for everyone to hear about Dina, for example, or beach sane or poison fishing in a song. But at the end, it makes sense because it was for the community and the target audience was the community. And I had to go to travel all around the place in the 24 villages to get everyone sales painted. They were happy about having some drawing first in their cell, a nice picture and drawing. But also they were proud of carrying the campaign messages, showing that they are not those ones who do destructive fishing. 
We introduced them the, the Notex Zone, the Marine Reserve, and now we are helping them for awareness raising the social marketing campaign to reduce the use of destructive fishing. To have the law adapted by the community, made by the own community, can be much more sustainable. Because once it's well designed and the base, the community take it in their hand, manage it properly, it can last longer. Because you don't have to fear about a political problem, the governmental problem, they have it already in the ground and they manage it themselves down there. With everyone respecting the law, no destructive fishing anymore, no poaching in the reserve, we're gonna, we're gonna help increase in the fish stock, in the resources, and the livelihood will be much more sustained, maybe much more developed in terms of their daily life. Who wants to get a bee? They don't eat.